Yeah, man. Power 5.1 Five Point One World Famous DJ Clue Desert Storm, the infamous the babies in the building. What's up, man? I appreciate you having me, Clue. The business is, man. First of all, I ain't seen you in a minute, man. So congratulations mm -hmm. on all your success, man. Nah, for sure, man. For sure. Turn we steady going. You know what I'm saying? It's a nonstop journey. I want to talk about the new project, man, a little bit, man. Yeah, yeah. Baby on Baby 2. You dropped that out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was surprise a surprise project. drop. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? How long took you to put no that promo, together? No promo, no nothing. Uh, a few songs on there, uh, maybe like five I had been had. You know, I ain't dropped the project really in like two right. years. You know what I'm saying? Last time I dropped the project, we was going into COVID. You know what I'm saying? I dropped another like mixtape after that. But um, right. yeah, like I, I ain't dropped the album literally since the one that had Rockstar on it. You know what I'm saying? That was 2020. It was like May, or was it like April? April 2020, April or May, one of the two. Um, so really it was just it was just really at a point I could have and I had the option of like okay let's do single by single let's do promo for it make sure we get the right amount of momentum going into it the right amount of hype built around it I'm like fuck that let's just put music out it's been way too long anyway like I don't even I wouldn't even feel right promising my fans music coming in a month off I didn't did that shit so many times and this 24 month span that I didn't, you know what I mean, been without deliverance. So I just really wanted to get some music out to the fans, and that's that's really what I did with that one. Do you feel like that hurt the project a little bit? You rushing it? I won't say hurt it. I know for sure. Um, yeah, if I would if I would have did like the press like prior to dropping the album, like if I did press run and right, you know what I'm saying, like brought more attention to it for sure. It would have did better. Uh, it would have did better like number wise and shit for sure. Hell yeah, I, I would have treated it like an album. And I feel like within that span that you dropped albums, a lot of a lot of different stuff happened. Bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So there's nothing but bullshit going yeah. on while no music is being delivered. So, you know, the fans can't do nothing but shift towards what they being fed. You get what I'm saying? And you know, they gotta hold themselves accountable for that at the end of the day. Right. At any other time, like it been, you know, other type shit coming along with me since I came in the game. But I always was, you know, relentless with with releasing the music and you know the content to where it always just iron that shit right on out, like. I delivered way more other shit than the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? When I put my CEO hat on, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. maybe if you could, would have did press and it explained some situations. For sure. And maybe you could have smoothed a lot of stuff out. Absolutely. Feel me? Absolutely. Now, how real do you think the whole, quote unquote, black ball thing is, man? I feel like it's a real thing. Like, and you know, it, it, it really ain't. It's a real thing. I know from experience, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't even... It's more so of a with me it's not it's not a term that you that you point the blame on like when you receive like results that you you didn't expect to receive like me like even like with the recent release like i expected nothing of it like i wasn't looking for a number one you know what i'm saying uh chart topping project like that i know how to get that like i've done that before you know what i'm saying i know this ain't the recipe to doing it just putting some shit out you get what i'm saying with the standards that i have on me but at the same time you know once the business get involved and it become too much of the other shit you know i feel like it's always important to just go back to just giving the music to the listeners because that's the most important thing you know what i'm saying when you get to the level i got to so much other shit come into play to where you know you get disconnected from how important it is to get that music directly to the listeners all the other shit comes from that you get what i'm saying you right. get too caught up in all the other shit you know you end up furthest away from the most important thing and that's getting the music you know what i'm saying you know how many new rappers pop up in two years you get oh my i know God. what i did in Forget two years about it. in two years i went i had two number one albums i had a number one song on billboard i went from being a local to the hottest rapper in the game the most streamed rapper in the world in, now, in a two year span BET award all that shit I did all that shit now like, I must say 12 radio number ones like I did <laughs> no I, doubt I went the fuck up you know what I'm saying so it's you know I get it you say two years but I just want to really paint the picture for people cause a lot of people I'm just, talking about two years since I popped right, yeah I'm right, talking about right, yeah, yeah right, I'm talking right, about right. When, I, when I popped mainstream yeah yeah like if you from you but know what I'm saying the Charlotte North Carolina South Carolina area mm -hmm. you know the grind that this kid put in man you know sure. what I'm saying like you passed through that CIAA and all that type shit so, you... I seen you come out performing the diaper mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying no one knew what the vibe was at the time yeah, yeah. but I was asking around I'm like yo who like when I go to cities, who's the hottest rapper? They be like, yo, this kid, the baby's on that fire. That groundwork had really been put in on my end, man. It really, really running around CDs, motherfucking uh, flyers, posters. Come early, come way early to the daytime. Come in the daytime to the venues. Post the flyers up all in the bathroom stalls. Girl go sit down. As soon as she closes the stall, sit down, use the bathroom. She looking at my ass, looking at my Instagram, all that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was on niggas' ass. You know what Crazy. I'm saying? I give you that CD, you throw it on the floor. I never hold a CD in chill in the club my damn self me personally but for the people who did you know what i'm saying hats off to them but the people who don't throw it on the ground fuck it when you go to your car i got a flyer boom right there in the window that's no the window seal yeah i'm on your ass you know so i really had put that groundwork in 
to now the with next. the single socks man like yeah yeah it's a couple records on it that i could i could have just potentially just dropped his singles prior right. to releasing the project the video is so crazy i could have did that with a boogie man i could have did it with his socks i could have did it with multiple records i could have did it with the joint with me and anthony hamilton once you see the video of that you'll get what i'm saying but like yeah this shit, it really don't be about nothing i just feel like you know um at the end of the day like how i got here like in the position of, that i'm blessed to be in like at this day was by just you know just doing me you know what i'm saying non-stop just relentlessly and just boom like i it had never been a six month period that i didn't put out a new album right since i came in you know what i'm saying so my fans ain't even programmed to wait over six months for music let alone you know what i'm saying 24 months so it's kind of like you know i ain't one to i don't i don't look for instant gratification when i do pop back out like i don't i don't feel entitled to oh because i'm the baby and i was the hottest nigga in the world and i did number one this number one that that when i drop it gotta be this i'm not one of them cry baby ass type of niggas like it really ain't it's never been about that type shit with me you get what i'm saying it's I'm the just, capricorn in you right man. right i was just doing me and you know what i'm saying and it turned into what it turned into so that's why when i win it was never yeah nigga da, 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 da. it's you know it's i feel like i'm doing what i'm supposed to do you know what I'm saying? And I get the results that I get. You know what I'm saying? And I move forward accordingly. Okay, what's next type shit? Like, that's what it is. Just from a lot of things that yeah. transpired in the alpha today, I'm giving you a new nickname. Yeah. The North Carolina Nino Brown. Yeah, for sure. Without the snitching. <laughs> without the snitching, for sure. That's definitely what now, I'm leaning towards. On the, the intro hat. of Socks, you have the, you know, the, the 911 call. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that, man. Like, yeah. first of all, I would just love to know how every time something happens with you, a video... Or audio surfaces that's crazy to me i'm not gonna lie yeah, it's crazy to me it, it, it surprised me more than it probably surprised you the fact that that quick because i mean i know how many people you know like like when situations go left like when somebody end up you know what i mean when it be like five play with the police or some shit like how long it take for somebody to get a 911 call or something you know what i'm saying to get it for the families to know what happened whoop -de -whoop. that shit was out the next day crazy. you know what i'm saying i'm like bro my ass famous as hell like this is you know, it's funny, like, I mean, being me rapper, being famous as hell, that's the reason why the nigga ended up being uh, getting shot, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. You know, this shit, I take it all with a grain of salt, bro. I it, just I just deal with it how it come type shit. Look, really... man, that, that seemed like the baby mentality, man. Shoot yeah. first, ask questions last. Yeah, I mean, you know, Sometimes in certain situations, like you ain't got to ask questions. You know, the, all, all your questions is the answer to all your questions right there in front of you, and then you just got to move accordingly type shit, you know? I mean, look. So I'm it, glad it worked out. I'm glad. I'm glad he was able to. To still make it home and all that. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Type shit. I mean, being a rapper now is like one of the most dangerous. It's a jobs. wild, it's a wild thing. It's wild. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely. How do you make sure you move? You know, what I'm saying the way you move and and be on time, man. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, um, I kind of, you know, I've been, I've been a survivor really at the end of the day. So I just kind of apply like the same shit, you know, um, to the business that I'm in now. Sometimes work out for the better. Sometimes it affect the business. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna go home with my kids. I'm gonna still be able to take care of my kids, watch them grow old. You get what I'm saying? That's what this shit about. At the end of the day, all that other shit. You know what it is. What it is. Like it's cool. I could put the responsibility in somebody else's hands and make it, you know, look better than certain people. But at the end of the day, can they handle that responsibility? You know what I'm saying? Like when it's when it's me that we talking about. You know, so it's it's all good, man. You know, I just I just try to move accordingly, move the right way at all times. I ain't a nigga that really move around like looking for, you know, believe it or not, you know, contrary to popular belief, like a lot of problems, like, you know, I just be chilling, I be moving just like this. You see how I'm dressed in this bitch clue, I'm cool and I ain't you know, you know, I look like I wouldn't hurt a fly. You, <laughs> you know, know it saying? surprises I, me sometimes. I look like, like, I, like I, I look sometimes. like I sick a rock roller on you. Uh, Cancel you with some liquor or something, but I don't look like I hurt nobody, man. I'm cooler, man. I'm now, cool it was guy. a small viral video of you, like, having an incident with one of your homies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I guess you had to, you know what I mean? You had to put the smack down real quick. You know oh, what I'm nah, man. That ain't that ain't go like that. You know, I mean, that's what the clip ended up looking like. But at up. the end of the day, yeah, it, ain't, it, ain't, it really ain't even nothing to club. I mean, okay. you know, we already, you know, that's amongst us. So that's something that'll never be. You know, man, I, I play basketball. Yeah. What happens all the time? We start pushing each other, yeah, yeah, you know, swinging on each other, and then we, and then we ride home together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all that love. type shit. Yeah, it just ended up under a microscope. It's all good, man. Now let's talk about the tour you got coming up, man. Yeah, the Baby on Baby Two tour for sure. It'll be in New York, what November the third at Urban Plaza. Uh, first stop, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Second stop, uh, what Chicago, Illinois, Detroit. Then we coming right back to New York. We will be back next week. You know what I'm saying? Oh, where? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, dope. Yeah, next okay. Week. Yeah. Now you have some special plan for this tour, man. Like yeah, so yeah. I mean, just like any other tour, and I know I ain't, I damn near ain't been on tour. I ain't even dropped music since 2020. So I ain't been on tour since 2020. But they, 
you know, my fans know I'm the fucking live show killer. Anybody that ever been to a show of mine, you know, like, it's a certain way this shit gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, with Tua, so just be expecting an experience. You gonna you lose some saying? expensive jewelry again this time, man? Talk man, to I'm gonna try not to, but at the end of the day, I'm a real nigga rock star, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't got time to be worrying about that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wear the jewelry for them. I lose jewelry all the time, that's the thing. Like, I, to where I really don't care about this shit, not made it the way I do not. I can't care about this shit, or it'll... It'll stress me the fuck out. I mean, look, man, listen. All I'm going to say is, like, even if you lost jewelry, just from that Dua Lipa feature, man, you made the money back, man. Yeah, believe that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 350K for a feature is crazy. I ain't going to lie. I mean, I've heard yeah. some, some good numbers, but that's like, that's like a crazy one, man. Yeah, I did I by myself. Uh, you got to make your business never personal all the time? Not all the time. I mean, you know, it go how it go at the end of the day. If, if a relationship is a business relationship, we keep it business. If it's a personal relationship. You know what I'm saying? You keep it personal. It just, it go that way. You know what I mean? It really ain't, it really ain't about nothing. No doubt. You know? I, as you can see, like, on the back end, a lot of motherfuckers kept their situation either business or pro. When I kept it one way, motherfuckers ended up, you know, playing it another way. So it's all good. Like, I ain't really tripping. And I don't expect nothing more from a motherfucker. Like, I don't, I don't deal with people like, you know what I'm saying, in the industry and expect them to, to move the way I move. Particular motherfuckers, you know, I don't, I have no expectations for them. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know. Was you know. there any incident that happened well, not even an incident, a situation that happened in the industry that just like turned you off. Was like you was like, man, this shit is like some. I mean, yeah, plenty, shit. plenty shit by this time. You get what I'm saying, but. Uh, and do you want to talk about? Uh, I mean, not, not specifically. It's really like just like the way that the way that just the media can just drive certain narratives to a oh, point to where either you gotta be, you gotta either just become a talking ass nigga that just wanna, you gotta become a politician, a motivational speaker to combat the shit. Or consistently drop your music, which is where that, that's my answer to that type shit, which I didn't right. do. So it's, you know, I understand the, uh, the hole a nigga got to climb up out of when it come time to drop after not dropping for two years. But yeah, I just all that type lame shit. Cause I didn't really sat back and see, like, I've really sat back, not too many niggas can do this, and see, I've saw a fucking lie get snowballed into, you get what I'm saying? What of became course. believable. And boom, like, I've seen it have so many, like, long term effects when I could have really just smushed it. I could smush the shit off the rip if I want to, but it's, you know, where the business is right now, it's in a place where it's so sensitive to even, like, you trying to smush some shit that could potentially turn into some detrimental shit. You trying to address some shit, it, it just set off other shit. Now, nah, the shit just so sensitive, so you just got to be careful. It's a learning experience more than anything, you know what I'm saying? One thing I did mm -hmm. notice about you, man, like, I don't never really see you in no clubs, man. Like, yeah, that ain't really my that ain't really my thing. Like, I think I, I ran really you club, no club one time in four years, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like I ain't really no, you know, trying to want to be on the stand around, look at look at other niggas type shit. Like I ain't that ain't my vibe. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, that ain't never. I be bored in the club. When I'm in the club, I'm like, you know, I be bored in that bitch. I ain't doing nothing but standing there smoking weed or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I ain't, you know, I be bored. Do you go to strip clubs? It gotta clubs, be like a like celebration or something. It gotta be like a special occasion. If it's you know, if I'm if I'm coming to a certain type of room, you know, if I'm if I'm if I'm politicking the right type of way, when I mean politicking, like you know what I'm saying, just fucking with people who I genuinely fuck with, yeah, it's always a good time. But like just going to the club, just to go to the club, that ain't my vibe. Yeah. Now I see you at the Hornets game, man. You like basketball a lot, man. Yeah, for sure. You got, you got the custom Hornets court, the crib. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely, most definitely, season ticket holder. You know what I'm saying? Oh, word. Yeah, yeah I go fuck around. Uh, yeah, but are you nice shit. though? You know, I, I do. I could do a little. You gotta be an organized ball player to do something with me. That's really like what I say. Like you had to have play organized ball at some point to do something with me. I think that's you playing with. Was it Gilly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was, I got the little shooting machine the way it shoot to give you okay. rebounds. And right, right. Five the, shots the at each spot. That's like the gun. Okay, yeah, yeah so he yeah. knows something. See, I just learned about the gun. He been shooting with the gun since he's an organized <laughs> ball player. You gotta be one of them type niggas to do something with me type shit. Is what I'm Oh, word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that? For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm all right. All right, man. Is there anyone you want to work with that you haven't worked with, man? Um, I don't really got, like, nobody in particular. Um, I really I really would enjoy, like, working with, like, anybody that really do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Music-wise. But, like, yeah, I don't, I don't really got nobody in particular, like, off the top of my head. Like, you'll be surprised. Like, I really would work. I'll create with anybody that just that want to, you know, genuinely create. Who's, like, probably the, the craziest person that reached out to you to work with you that you just couldn't have time to do it or did oh like one that I didn't do? Yeah. A lot of people reached out, like that we probably like imagine. didn't end up releasing type shit. Like some shit or oh, I'm sure like, you got some secret gems in the vault. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So like me and Justin Bieber, we recorded like a joint project, like a whole damn album. Word. Yeah, yeah. And we got well, that's that, man. We recorded it really like around like COVID. Like we were sending records like back and forth like around COVID and shit. 
Just invite mm. me to the crib. I'm gonna act like I stole the USB, man. You know what I'm saying? Show. Yeah, yeah, we can do that and press play on you and shit. Yo, clue, like Definitely. when Biggie said, Yo, clue, I'm looking for you. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right, right. That you can do the same thing. Yeah, and this is. <laughs> got you. <laughs> got you, for sure. For sure, for sure. But now, I definitely, I got some shit like, you know, that I done did. Some shit I probably, you know, took too long or missed out on. I was a busy nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially like, you know, at the time where like everybody was trying to work with me type shit. It had got like Lil Wayne back in the day, like where I'm on everybody's shit. I be certain places now. You know what I'm saying? And the motherfuckers be listening to Pandora, whatever they be having it on, where it just play everything I'm on, that shit be throwing me off. I'm like, damn, this song sound familiar. I hear somebody else, then I hear my voice come on. I'm like, I forgot I even did this shit. Like, That's crazy. Right, right, for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, man, yo, dope. congratulations to everything, man. Yeah, I appreciate you having me, man. We ain't we far from done. You know what I'm saying? So Looking much forward more to for go. the tour. For sure, for sure, baby. On baby two tour. You know what I'm saying? On sale now. Coming through a city near you, man. Yeah, so we should sure. chat with the Believe guy. That. You know what I mean? Appreciate your clue love, man. For sure, man. Power 105.1 Desert Storm Radio, Clue Radio. Keep it locked right here, y'all. Yeah.